Thank you guys for listening to me rant. Let's do this. <laughs> White wine for cooking. Homemade milk tea. Do you like the colors? Look at Pancho. <laughs> Look at that mess. <sighs> hey, hey, French bulldog. <laughs> Looking like a bear. Hey guys. Welcome to my channel! <laughs> I'm Tina. I'm a corporate lawyer in the Philippines and I am Bagong Ligo. <laughs> so I just really had to sit down guys and vent my frustrations. I really never intended to get political on here, on YouTube. But the political landscape right now, it just demands reaction. And what makes me so, 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 so angry this morning is now Duterte's tirade against Attorney Chel Diokno. Attorney Chel Diokno is the former dean of the DLSU College of Law. He is the chair of the Free Legal Assistance Group, or FLAG. He's a licensed lawyer in the Philippines and in Illinois. So basically, and dami dami niyang accomplishments as a person, as a lawyer. And you can tell based on his track record that he really is a crusader for justice. Some of you guys know that he ran for senator last year. He didn't with, but he really rose to public consciousness. Alam niyo yun? Like, the youth really became aware of Attorney Chel Diokno last year. As part of his platform, he pointed out very, very real human rights abuses that were happening under the Duterte administration. Extrajudicial killings left and right. The list goes on. So anyway, let's go back to why I'm so angry today. So gigil. The first is a speech of Duterte. I'm going to flash on screen excerpts of that speech. So basically, sinabi ni Duterte kay Chel Diokno, Alam mo kung bakit di ka nanalo? Laki ng ipin mo. Magsalita ka, kalahati ng alang-alam mo, nakalabas. What? Wow! Itong si Diokno, salita, parang janitor. Alam mo, Chel Diokno, bilib ako sa tatay mo, pero nung nakita kita, wala ka talagang sinabi. Really? This is our president, who is so, so small and microscopic-minded that he insults a person's appearance just because he knows that he cannot insult that person's integrity or credentials. The way that he insults his political enemies, like mukha kang janitor, parang, come on, dude. Guapo guapo niya kasi guys, no? What triggered that tirade by Duterte against Attorney Diokno was Attorney Diokno coming to the aid of certain people who had been summoned by the NBI for friendly questioning because of their social media posts about how the government was handling the coronavirus situation. So imagine, nag post ka lang on Facebook expressing your disappointment that hey, the government could have handled this better, they should have done mass testing already instead of ignoring the COVID threat in February. You know, normal criticisms, normal outrage that a citizen would feel. Tapos bigla kang isasabina ng NBI. You might actually be coerced into saying something or signing something that you would never otherwise say or sign if you didn't have NBI agents breathing on the back of your neck. So what Attorney Diokno did was to give advice to those citizens who would be called for friendly questioning by the NBI. So you know, Attorney Diokno was giving legal advice. So yun, galit na galit ng hako dun. Plus the obvious situation that ordinary citizens are being singled out for criticizing the government. You guys, law students who have taken Constitutional Law 1 and 2, you guys know how repugnant or violative that is of freedom of expression. Freedom of expression is one of the most cherished civil liberties. It's guaranteed in our Constitution. Basta, parang in the hierarchy of human rights, it's one of the highest. Why is that so? It's because freedom of expression is one of the cornerstones of democracy. Freedom of expression is not absolute. It is subject to limitations pa rin. The state can use the clear and present danger test in order to curtail freedom of expression. But yun, how could some angry Facebook posts of some rightfully angry citizens pass that clear and present danger test laid down in constitutional law? I just, it doesn't. It could never. Human rights, even in times of a pandemic, they're being violated left and right. So it really is the time to speak out by your disagreement. You guys have the power to change policy. Your reactions have power. Power is in the people. Okay, sorry, nagalit na naman ako. 
So yeah guys, another reason why I'm so angry about this whole thing is that Attorney Chel Diokno is very close to my heart. Last year in the senatorial elections, 49 other lawyers and I, so in total 50 lawyers kami, volunteered as election lawyers for him. And I will never ever forget, you know, that speech where he basically accepted his defeat. Proud na proud siya that 50 lawyers volunteered for him. And honestly, I would do it all over again. I'm really hoping and praying that he will run in 2022. Kahit hindi siya last year, I'm still so proud na nakapasok siya sa top 30 senatorials because he rose to that rank without selling his soul, without accepting money from huge corporations, without being backed by huge political parties with tons of money. Sometimes, real integrity and track record can really propel you to the top. It wasn't enough, obviously, to land him in the top 12. But definitely now, people know who he is. I have some pictures here actually that I'm gonna show you guys. This first picture that I will show you was during his press conference. This was just a few days before the senatorial elections. Beside him is Justice Natura, and beside him is Justice Roberto Abad. Then we have a couple of other nice memories with the other volunteer lawyers. So from Small World, some of these lawyers I knew beforehand. Some of them kabatch ko sa UP Law, some of them from the law firm. Really, really great bunch. This one naman was during the actual day of elections at the headquarters. So all of Attorney Jokno's children were there, his election lawyer was there, friends, family, advisors. So it was really a gathering of his supporters. He had arrived at the headquarters to be with everyone and also to monitor the results that were coming out on TV. In this last photo, this was around a month or two after the elections. And he just wanted to throw a gratitude dinner just to show all of us that he valued our support. But honestly to me, he shouldn't have been thanking us. We should have been thanking him because he was one of the few who really had the guts to challenge the administration. He had the guts to test the status quo as we knew it. Like I said, there were 50 of us and the funny, funny thing was none of us were election lawyers. We were lawyers from all different fields of practice, corporate, litigation, regulatory, but we all read up and studied on election law and attended seminars by Attorney Diokno's election lawyer just so that we could help him during elections. So clearly the power of Attorney Jokno, not even considering his legal prowess, was really his power of bringing people together in that fight for a better Philippines. Because ultimately, that's all we want anyway. We want the same thing. I'm I'm not as enraged as I was a while ago. Thank you guys for listening to me rant. Sorry for that political rant. I wish I could separate it, but that's part of my life. So I hope you guys are open to seeing that from me as well, in addition to my more fluff content like makeup or clothes. <laughs> so yun. So yeah guys, have a have rant ko, natuyo na yung hair ko. <laughs> So Mike and I are just heading to SNR right now. Lately, we've been going to the grocery every two weeks. I wish we could go less frequently. Pero yun nga, pag nasa grocery ka na kasi, you can only buy a maximum of two pieces per item. So talagang naubos yung stock namin dito in two weeks. So yeah guys, keep staying safe and keep staying home. Again, as usual, I will be leaving in the description box below links to different ways by which you can help and donate to help fight the spread of COVID-19 and to mitigate the effects of COVID. So yeah guys, I will take you with me and my to SNR. See you guys later. Going to the grocery right now and I have my mask, I have our quarantine pass. Just have to pick up a few essentials. I have a list on my phone like cheese, bagels, um, fruits, vegetables. So yeah, it's actually a really nice day out. If not for the fact that there are barely any cars on the street, then it would really seem like any other normal day. Here we are. SNR. Look at those clouds. Do you ever see kinds of clouds like these in the Manila skyline? Here is my list of stuff. I always go to the grocery with a list. Although, you know, sometimes I get items outside that list. Who doesn't? But it's a good thing to have like a standard. You know, need black pepper, mirin. Not sure if they have mirin in SNR, but white wine is very versatile for cooking. It can be used to replace cooking sake. White onions. So yeah, these are essentials that we really need there. Eh? I mean, you can't cook without onions. Am I right? Okay, mask is on. So is Mike's. Let's do this. <laughs> Have a little line, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm happy to feel some sunlight on my skin, you know? Parang iba yung feeling being cooped up in the house. Although I like it, but it's just different. Okay, around 1 hour 30 minutes na kami dito. There's Mike. 
Can you guys hear me through my mask? Everyone's observing social distancing naman. Daming stock. Hmm. And the cookware section. Daming maganda dito. Alcohol. Gonna get white wine for cooking. Can you get this? Whoa. Great. Hey guys, so we are back from the grocery. It's around 2.30 in the afternoon and Mike and I have not had a single thing to eat today. So maliligo muna kami and then kakain. Yeah, sobrang sabog ng itsura ko because yun nga, we were standing outside in the heat for around 1 hour 45 minutes before we were able to go inside. Pero nung umalis kami, parang sobrang ikli na lang yung pila. <laughs> Probably it's because everyone was trying to get their grocery shopping done as early as they could, which is opening time, right? So I'm so thankful that we have the luxury of, you know, being able to buy whatever grocery food we want. I know that I am really blessed and privileged and not everyone is as fortunate talaga. So it's important that we do what we can to help. Again, I will leave links down below in the description box to causes wherein you can donate, help fight COVID and help mitigate effects of COVID that has already spread. Since social distancing is the thing, it's mandated then what we can really do to help is stay in our homes and donate. Let's help those who aren't as fortunate as we are. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Maliligo ako. Bye! Quarantine life! <laughs> what the? You're not supposed to hump legs, Pan! That's not part of your job description, Pan! Okay, so this is our first attempt at trying to make yung croque madame. So, you can see that this has bechamel sauce, then it has cheese, and it also has slices of ham. You see Riza is toasting the bread in the stove. It's a little bit of a Gonna stick these beauties in the oven! There you go! I'm just gonna leave them in for as long as it takes for the cheese to melt. Here we have the sandwiches themselves fresh out of the oven. Okay, ignore that. That's for my milk tea later. I'm excited. Gagawa ko ng milk tea. And... 
be good. You. Okay, just gonna top this with the fried eggs. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Looks really good, gang. Look how good this looks. Wow, it's good. <laughs> Looking so scrumptious. I'm gonna feed it to Mike. <laughs> Eat na gang. <laughs> oh my god. I've actually been wanting to make this ever since I tried it. And I'm happy with how it turned out. Yuck, hindi pa nga natikman. <laughs> but I like how it looks. Is <laughs> it? Okay, I presented it like this with the egg on top. But in order to minimize spillage, siguro ilalagay ko muna yung eggs sa gitna. Yeah, just inside the sandwich so that it doesn't like totally burst all over when we bite it. So good! Hmm. I think the reason why people are afraid to cook or yeah, to just assemble food is they're so scared that they have to be precise about it. But one thing that I love to do is to improvise. So if I don't have the ingredient, I'll substitute something else. If I find the, the steps or the process too complicated, then I'm gonna cut out some steps. So I make it easy and I make it enjoyable. And that's why I'm able to do it frequently. Just experiment. Mmm! 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 Mm. Mm. Very messy though. I think it's amazing. Nice for easy. Bread, yeah, egg bread. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Like amazing, amazing. Amazing, amazing. Huh? Don't worry about me. I will. Hindi naman ilaw yan eh. Ilaw yan, magbata yung itlog na basa. The best yan. Okay, so since this recipe was a success, then I'm gonna make sure to add it to my list of recipes. Nilalagay ko siya sa iPhone ko. Parang one of the notes. Just so that I remember it quickly. And so that I don't have to visit the web link. Yummy! Okay, now that we are done with the croc, Madam, then we're gonna make milk tea, English breakfast. Buti na lang nakahanap pa si Mike na to at the grocery. Because this was like the last two boxes, right, Gang? Yeah. yeah, these were the last two boxes. Thank you, Quarantine, for bringing out the tea hoarders. Dami nag hoard ng tea, pati tea. Ano ba naman yan? This is, the, this is the English breakfast tea. And recommended na for milk tea, black tea yung gamitin. And then we have the... Evaporada. Ay! 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 Nakita ko sa recipe, dapat kondensada yung gamitin. Pero ayoko yung kondensada because it's just too sweet. So yeah, just got evaporada instead and grass jelly instead of tapioca pearls para less fattening. There, chinachop na ni Riza yung grass jelly. I'm sorry, Riza. Tapos, yeah, I'm just gonna put the tea bags into the tea cups. Grabe ni Riza. Hi, Eddie! Is it Dina? Wala, nagkamali ako na bupiti. Hi! Hi, Eddie! Sorry! Gawa ko ako ng milk tea. Gawa ko ako ng milk tea. Si Pancho, say hi, Pancho! Then, gonna let this cool for... How long? Around 10 minutes? Huh? Then, I'm gonna put it in the rest. Nag-file ako last... Friday, na muna, by email. Walang registered mail. Email pa rin. Kasi, 
Oh, walang post office. Pero ano ba proof eh, na kung kailan mo kinahil eh? This looks so pretty. This is the excess grass jelly. Mukha siyang black diamond. <laughs> look, at, look at Panchi. All that trash around him is a carton of milk that he played with. <laughs> Tapos si Mike, he's having a conference call with his office mates. <laughs> Gulo nila. Gulo nila mag conference call. You wouldn't think na lawyer siya. <laughs> So just having this homemade milk tea for merienda. Ito yung ginawa namin kanina. You can see that it actually looks quite appetizing. And it's good. I mean for something homemade, for something that's a lot healthier than the star alternative. Sobrang okay siya. I like it. I substituted some sorry, <laughs> talking with my mouthful. I substituted some ingredients, like instead of condensada, which was the ingredient that the recipe called for, I used evaporada. Evaporado has no added sugar, so I just added equal to make it less fattening. So, thank you Real Asian Beauty on YouTube for sharing your milk tea recipe. I like it and I think I'm gonna be making it more often now. Yummy! I was so happy when I received this from one of my good friends. She was one of my colleagues when I was in a law firm around like maybe five years ago. No, sorry, four years ago. And she really didn't have to, but you know, it was so sweet and I really appreciated it. So, ito yung Disney, Disney palette with color pop. You can see all the shades in the back. Hold on guys. Give me a minute. Sorry, hindi pa sanay mag YouTube. Look at that! Is that not so cute? Sobrang ganda, di ba? Disney Designer Collection. And... Grabe! So nice! And this little guy in the back agrees. Don't you, Pancho? Don't you? Do you like the colors? Do you like the colors? You love it. You love it, don't you? I think what would go with your fur is this color. One kiss. <laughs> yeah. Just so happy. So thank you, Kams. Thank you, Kams, for this beautiful palette. Can't wait to try it. But I don't know when So I don't really know when I will actually get to try it. Yay! I just really wanted to show you guys my dog. Oh, What are you doing there? What you doing there? Okay, am I the only dog parent who talks to her dogs like they're babies? <laughs> Sorry, but just look at that face. Look at that face. Okay, I'm gonna stop being creepy now. <laughs>